Hello, today we're going to be introducing um, how to use the Nalco SVC 100 digital chronometer. And this is the kit that it comes in. So we're going to simply open it up and see what's inside. First you can see the instruction manual and then it's got a warranty manual that comes along with it. And then inside of it is the digital chronometer itself, a screwdriver to open up the back panel, a cleaning brush for the sample vials, and then we've got two different types of sample vials, the five and the 10 milliliter sample vials, and we'll explain in a little bit about when and why we should use each one of those. And then we comes with the free and total chlorine reagents, which in the DPD pillow packs is what we call them. So to get started, we're gonna take the digital chronometer here. It's already got the batteries in it, in this case. We're gonna turn it on. And we've already got a domestic predetermined water source that we're going to use. And that's what this is for, is for taking domestic water. So what and where should we use it or what, how should we get started? So simply turn open the first page into the table of contents. And we're going to take a chlorine sample in the high or the low range. And we'll figure out what those mean. So we're going to simply turn over to page 7 and 8. And find out which one of the bottles and how we should go about using it. So in this particular case, the first one on page eight is taking with the glass sample vials, a chlorine sample that is in the range of 0.02 to 2.0 milligrams per liter or parts per million. So that would be considered the low range, okay? We flip over and it tells you exactly how to do a free and total sample on that one. If we flip over to the next page, we'll see that the plastic five milliliter vials are used and we can see that the range is a little bit higher quite a bit higher, 0.0 to 8.0 milligrams per liter or parts per million. Those terms can be used interchangeably. So it tells up in this, in this particular case that we've got a domestic cold water sample. I already know that the range is quite high. So we're gonna be using the high range sample. So we turn our chlorometer on and after we turn it on, we're gonna press the mode button. The mode button either goes to one or two options, CL8, or CL2. And in the high range sample, we're gonna be taking the CL8 and we're gonna be using this file. So step number one, after we turn it on, is take the domestic water source, which typically you're gonna let it run from a, a sink, a shower, or a backflow preventer, or a hot water source. We're gonna let that run for several minutes, um, at least two or three minutes to get a good uh, sample, not something that's just stagnant in the line. So this case, that has been the case, and we're gonna fill it up right to five milliliters, which is right on the line. And then it's got a predetermined um, little arrow or triangle right here on the, on the plastic sample vial, and there's an opaque one on the digital chronometer. It's real important that we line those up together. So the first step is to zero it out, where we press the zero slash test button, and it's gonna blink a few times, and as it's doing that, and in a real case scenario, we're going to be letting that water run. And then we take our five milliliter sample and fill it up right to that line. And then now we can either use the pillow packs by taking a free sample or a total chlorine sample. In this particular case, it's a monochloramine sample. So we're going to be taking a total um, sample. So instead of using the uh, foil packs or the DPD pillow packs, I'm going to speed up the process and I'm gonna use one of these uh, DPD uh, Swift Test dispensers. Um, this one, in this case, we're gonna use the total one, which is the green one. And after that's been zeroed out, zero, zero, for our sample, we're gonna take two dispensations, and the reason we take two, this is the high range. If we were to use the low range, we would just take one dispensation or one pillow pack. So we're gonna do two squeezes. You can already see that it's turning a pinkish uh, fuchsia type color and so automatically you know that there are, is some chlorine or monochloramine in the water. And so the proper way to do is let this sit for about three minutes. We're going to place this inside the arrow, lines up with the arrow on the chlorometer, like thus. And then we're going to press the zero test button once more and it's going to blink a couple of times. So now it gives us our range. And what is the total chlorine sample on the high range? It's 3.35 uh, parts per million or milligrams per liter. 
And that's our number if we have the domestic monochloramine cold water sample. And if we were to take a free chlorine sample, we simply do the same thing, empty these out, wash them a couple times, um, you don't have to do it with soap, and then just take the free sample from the Swift Test dispenser, or we can use the pillow packs, two of those for the high range. And that's all I have for today. Thank you.